Welcome to the world united. Welcome to the world united. Now I'm going to move on to introducing Ruth Oliver. And uh, Ruth is a coach, facilitator, you know, speaker. Her journey, I love this into uh, well-being began wearing lycra and leg warmers in the 80s as an aerobics instructor in London. What a wonderful way to start out. Um, and she went on to build a thriving personal training business and became an international presenter and trainer in the fitness industry. Later, she trained as a Pilates teacher and for many years had her own Pilates studio. Um, she went through her own experience of burnout while living in Hong Kong that she opted for the Eastern approach to health and discovered deeper levels of well-being through those philosophies and what she now calls the inward journey to health. Um, she's taught hundreds of women within her private coaching business, the corporate world, and the medical industry to empower themselves and recover their mental, emotional, and physical and spiritual health. And she believes that women have much to offer the world, agreed, and is obsessed with helping them unlock their full potential for a strong foundation of balance and well-being. And uh, uh, Ruth's session title is Butterflies Are Normal, Change Your Relationship with Stress So You Can Shine. So welcome, Thank Ruth. You. Thank you, Deb. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it's really lovely to be here. What a lovely way to spend a, an afternoon of just nourished soul. It's Beautiful. Thank you, Tash and Marie, for your wisdom and insights. Um, and a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, when when I was listening to you, Marie, I was kind of almost forgetting what I'm going to talk about because I was so engrossed <laughs> with what you were saying. And there are so many common threads. Um, I think we, you know, inevitably with all of us when we we speak on these things, especially as women. Um, and what I have begun to do over the last few years in, on, on my journey, we're always on this, this journey, is to really help women to be able to step out of their comfort zone and shine in their lives. Um, so I, I just want to, I, I, I kind of plan for this to be a little bit interactive, if that's okay. I know we're going to have questions afterwards, but I, I like a little bit of interaction. So um, I wanted to ask you, have you ever felt that sense of panic rising in your body and your heart rate, you know, going up and you get hot and flustered and anxious and you, you know, we do sometimes experience those gnawing butterflies in the tummy. So, you know, who's, who's familiar with those, those kinds of experiences? Yeah. And I'm also interested to know, because in, in my experience and, and with the women I work with, it would appear that society still to a, to a large degree would have us believe that there's something wrong with us when that happens. So, and also we have this inner, inner dialogue that goes on that says, I'm sure nobody else suffers from the nerves like I do, you know, nobody else has to deal with this. And we, we are going back to that, you know, Tash and the comparison thing, we're always comparing ourselves to other people and believing that they don't have these same nervous, anxious experiences that we have. Is anyone familiar with that happening? And so I think in, in my experience and, and the, the conclusion I have come to with all of this is that when we are asked to step out of our comfort zone, which I believe the soul always wants to do. I believe the soul is always looking to shine. It is always looking to grow and evolve and move forward and, and move on to bigger things. Now, that doesn't have to be anything huge. So I, let me give you an example of, of how this happens. I think also, the mind then gets in the way. The soul wants to, to evolve, but the mind and body are saying something completely different. So who, who have any of you done anything like a bungee jump or skydive? My, my son has just signed up for a skydiving course, which is, I'm getting anxious about that. He's not anxious about it. 
So I remember a time when my my youngest son is a little bit of an adrenaline junkie and my poor oldest son just has to follow along with what he's doing. Otherwise, you know, he's the older son. So if he's going to do the bungee jump, well, I've got to do the bungee jump too. But they did, they, we were in New Zealand one time and, and they really wanted to do this bungee jump and they were really young. My youngest son held the record in Queenstown, New Zealand for the lightest person ever to jump off that bridge. And I had to sign a waiver for him to do that, which put my heart rate through the roof. And he loved it. However, there was a girl who went before him who was in a world of pain wanting to jump off this bridge and she was all set up she had the bungee tied around her ankles they prepped her they'd given her the pet talk she was ready to go and she was sobbing her heart out she was so scared and she would come to the edge and then she would come back again and she would come to the edge and cry and come back and her soul wanted to jump off that bridge and fly and her mind and body were saying no do not do it. You must be crazy. Don't do it. Now, we have these experiences. We may not be bungee jumping. You know, we have these experiences from anything that pushes us out of our comfort zone. That, for some people, may be simply getting out of bed and getting dressed in the morning. It may be that you want to be a better mother and stop getting angry with your children or that you're trying to improve your relationship or you want to ask for a raise or get a promotion or shine in your business and our soul is wanting us to do that but somehow our mind and body are telling us oh no that makes me feel really ill to think of doing that so why does this happen well i think that what happens is we have a backpack that we carry around with us all the time. And in this backpack, we have a lot, a lot of memories, a lot of experiences, a lot of things that have happened to us. And when the soul asks us to push ourselves out of our comfort zone, we rummage around in our backpack and we take out all the times that we've been disappointed. And we think about that and we take out all the times that we have been humiliated and that comes to mind. And we take out all the times that we've been criticized or judged and we have a look at that. Because research shows that out of the 6,000 thoughts that we have every day, 80% of them have a negative quality to them, which goes straight back to your point, Marie, of you know, what are we going to do about that? So what I think is really important to remember, first of all, is that we are not alone when we feel this way. It is a shared human experience. And when we know that we share these experiences and we have this connection, it immediately makes us feel a lot more self-compassionate and gives us more courage. So... I remember when this happened to me, I was working in London, I was doing that Lycra and Legorma thing, and um, I also worked in an advertising agency, and I really wanted a raise. And I would sit on the underground, every on the train, every day, like pepping myself up to go in and ask for this raise. And I would get to the office, and I would walk in, and my resolve would just melt away, and I'd just slunk in behind my desk, and I would there's no way I was going to ask for that raise. I was so nervous to do it. But if I had known then what I know now, I would have had that raise in the bank probably three months before I did. Because I believe there is inner work to be done if we want to show up and shine in our lives, however we want to do that. So what we need to do is we need to befriend these things that... Oh, my share screen makes it a bit strange. We need to befriend these things that we are pulling out of our backpack. And I want to just show you, um, I'm going to turn my background off actually, because I want to, um, yeah, there we go. I want to show you how this works on my little whiteboard here. And this is where I also love your interaction. So we are made up of intellect, emotion, 
a physical body and our spirit or our soul. And in each of these parts of us, we have the capacity to either be healthy or unhealthy. So if we are unhealthy in our intellect, how does that feel when we feel unhealthy? Intellectually, meaning our thinking processes, our data in, data out, our analyzing, our working out. How do you feel when you are unhealthy intellectually? I'll give you a clue. I feel foggy. Hmm. Yeah? We can feel unclear. And that makes us indecisive. Hmm. Yeah? So if we feel healthy in our intellect, we would feel clear, focused, Yeah, getting the picture. Mm. Moving into emotion. If we feel unhealthy emotionally, how do you feel when you feel unhealthy emotionally? We can feel we can feel anything from anger to pain. What else do you feel? Think about your emotional body. What do you feel when you are unbalanced emotionally? Unbalanced, unloved. Unloved, yes. And physically. Okay. So let's go, let's go positive emotionally. Here, we can feel very confident. Optimistic. Optimistic. Aligned. Aligned. Mm. Absolutely. Physically, when we feel physically unhealthy, I love it when I do this in my workshops. One of the things that comes up always is slow, mm. tired, tired. Mm, sluggish. Tired. Yeah. And when we're heavy. healthy, sorry, heavy, heavy, yes, mm. heavy. And when we're healthy, we can feel vital. Mm. Alive, if we feel energy, we might feel light. Yeah. Spiritually, now this is different for everybody. So the spiritual body is a different concept for everybody. I think spiritually, we can feel when we're unhealthy, we can feel very disconnected. Yeah. What else? Confused. Confused. Alone. Mm. A lot of people tell me they feel very connected here, have a lot of trust. Joyful. Excited. Joyful. And inspired. Mm. So you can see that if we hang around out here, it's really hard for us to shine in our lives. What we need to do is to work proactively to come back into these healthy places where we feel clear, confident, alive, and joyful. And then we're able to spiral up to this place where we shine in our lives. Now, how do we do that? Well, I believe there are simple practices, daily practices that you can do that help you to come back to this place very, very regularly. And I want to do one of them with you quickly now. So I just want you to tap on the side of your hand here. So for those of you who know tapping, this is a really, really strong point. It is really good to tap when you have a fear of new experiences. And then what I'd like you to do is just slow your exhale down. So slowing your exhale soothes your vagal nerve, which is a massive nerve in your nervous system, interacts with many of your organs. So just slow your breath down as you tap. And as you're doing that, I want you to think of something that makes you a little anxious or nervous. And notice where that sits in your body. 
and then raise your attention in your body just a few centimeters higher than that. So if it's, if it's a knot in your chest, lift higher in your chest. If it's a pit in your stomach, lift higher in your stomach. And breathe slowly. And know that you have the capacity to go within so that you can understand that butterflies are normal, a shared human experience, simply your magnificent body alerting you to danger. But most of the danger is made up in your mind. And you can soothe within and shine without in your life very easily. Beautiful. So take a nice deep breath, sigh out. I'd love to do more, but we are up to time almost, I think. So thank you so much. Um, I guess if I had a message to leave you with, it would be to totally trust yourself trust your soul that wants to shine and know that all of those physical and, and mind body experiences are just your body saying just check in here have a check soothe it down and then show up and shine thank you thank you awesome awesome I would love if you sent a picture of your chart out. Sure, I will. That, that would I be great. I have, lots of, I have lots of these with really great words on, so I can send you one, oh, a really full that one. Would be, which... That would be awesome. That yeah. would be awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this, it's just, it, it's amazing what the mind does with the body, <laughs> you know? And, and what the body does then with the mind. Um, so being able to recognize those things and just knowing that we have the ability to change, you know, um, we, we actually, about uh, a month or so ago, um, I started having this itching in my face. I went to the primary care physician and, and she said, oh, it's shingles. And I, and I went, oh, okay. She said, ah. Eh, we give it about seven to 10 days. And all, all I had ever heard was these horror stories about people having for months on end and everything, you know, and it's like, okay. And I talked to my body and I said, you've got seven days. It took 10, but then it went away, you know? So it's like, it's it, how, how do we feel that we can, you know, move? Do you know, move Deb, it? it's so, so interesting you should say that. I had exactly the same experience. Last really? Year, yeah, I got shingles last year. Uh, there are so many women in Australia with shingles, I can't tell you. And I'm quite sure it's just this, this low level of stress that we've been under for so long. Um, yeah. But I did the same thing. I was like, okay, you've got seven days and, <laughs> and then you're gone. Thank you. I, I, I just, yeah. I, I get it. I don't need you though. I understand. I'm, I'm obviously run down. And I'm obviously stressed and, and I will manage that. So yeah, goodbye. And it went <laughs> and it listened. So wonderful. And I'm looking forward to uh, uh, having some exchanges here in the discussion and you're all being wonderfully attentive to time. And I appreciate that. And let me just do, here we go. Here we are. Nope. You know what? Oh, I'm uh, Shelly. <laughs> That's okay. I know. <laughs> you know what, Ruth? We're going to email yours. Yours oh, and well. one other one other certificate did not get created. So I apologize. That's okay. But it, it is coming. You do have it. Okay. okay. And Thank we you. really appreciate. 